Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave. Today I'm here to talk about these night vision binoculars. Now the company did send me this product for a review, but all the opinions here are mine and they have no say in what I say in the video. But they want me to, to uh, take a look at them, show you what comes with the package, how they work and that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at the, uh, the packaging itself here. Uh, it says all dark viewing range at 300 meters. Again, these are binoculars, but they're night vision as well. Uh, let's see some of the other features. Uh, there's a nice big screen on there. Um, you have a 32 gigabyte uh, little micro SD card. Actually, it comes with it too, which is really nice. Um, some USB power supplies. You do need to provide eight AA batteries yourself. It does not come with it. Uh, I do have batteries in here to show you. Four times digital viewing, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And there was something else over here on this side. Uh, it is, uh, this does actually record video and photography. So when you're out and about, or you're out camping or hunting or anything like that, and you're looking through these for the night vision, you can actually record or take photos of what you're seeing, which I'm going to do to test this out for you. Uh, the photo resolution is a, a, a one megabyte photos there. And so it's not very, um, not very, it's not like a digital camera. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's some limitations to it. Um, and the video resolution can go up to 960p. Um, so it's almost a 1080, which is almost HD, um, but not, uh, not quite, but close to it. Anyways, let's take a closer look and see what we get in the package. Okay, this is everything you get in the package. There is a, a user manual, a strap for the unit itself. Um, this little thing, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, what it's used yet. And this cord is used to connect the binoculars to your computer to download the images. A little cloth, cleaning cloth. And you get a carry pouch. Here is the carry pouch, but inside the carry pouch is the unit itself so we're going to take a look at that here this is kind of what it looks like now the uh, the strap goes along the side so you can uh, have this around your neck or whatever you want on your shoulders to uh, to keep it into place so that's what that's for okay so here's the set itself and you have some adjustments near and far that's a focusing this is your infrared light in here it doesn't do anything it just sits there uh, it does have a cap on it so you can uh, take the cap off there you got a whole bunch of buttons here on top, uh, the infrared, there's plus and minus, power button, menu modes, and a shot. Uh, this is the, um, the viewfinder here. This is what you look into. So it's not like typical binoculars where you have one on each eye. This is more like a screen. You get a monitor because this is all digital. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can put this up to your face. And for me, I wear glasses, so it's nice. I can just put this up to my face with my glasses on without having any problems. But there's a screen all up inside there. I'm going to turn it on and show you that in a little bit. And then on this side here on the back side, this is where you put your batteries. Again, I loaded the batteries in. Uh, there's four on both sides. I'll open that up for you. See right there. So it does take a lot of batteries. It does take some power. And uh, you have a little tripod mount here, so it's nice so you can make it nice and steady. When you're looking at 300 yards um, type of place, it's, it's going to be very uh, shaky sometimes. So you have to have a steady hand. It's nice to put this on a tripod. On this side, you do have a little waterproof, water-resistant uh, flap. And this is your um, SD card. It goes right in here. They do give you a 32 gig card. So that should be enough to record a few things there for you. And this is the port where you put that cable in to download the images right to your computer directly. And then this just closes up and seals nice and tight. Again, this is this is not waterproof, I don't believe, but it's water resistant. Uh, you want to just, you know, for splashes and whatever, you want to kind of keep, keep it out of the water. So that's everything on the unit itself. I'm going to hit the power button and power this on. And um, let's see if you can see that in there. Oh, yeah, you can. The little screen. You can see the screen. Kind of what it looks like. Now, I'm not really looking at anything. This is my, my hands. <laughs> and um, there's some information in there. It's set automatically to, let's see if you can see that, um, to video. You have to change it to photo if you want to take a photo. It's got um, some time. It's got the car. It's got battery level in there. Now, if you hit the menu button, 
you can get the menus, lots of different menus, and you can adjust it but with the uh, the other buttons, so you can set all kinds of different features and stuff in there. You pretty much got to play with it and go through it and, and just get to know what is going on there. Now, you can use this as a regular binoculars as well with color to it. And then uh, when it gets night or you're in low light, you actually change it to the infrared and the infrared actually has different levels. So depending on how dark and where you are located and how far out you're looking, you can change the infrared uh, lamp part of it. Now the infrared lamp again is this piece here and you can't see it. It's, it's a lamp that's not visible to or light that's not visible to the human eye. But when you look through a machine like this, you're definitely going to see it. Now the true test comes where I take some pictures and some video clips and show you how that looks here at nighttime. I'm not sure how I can film what it looks like looking through this with the camera. I will try that as well. But uh, let's take a look coming up next. Now this is a recording taken directly from the monoculars itself. This is during the daytime. Uh, this is daytime light out. That's my little bird feeder and uh, just panning over to the other side and you can see it's all in color uh, regular kind of regular binoculars look a little palm tree there and then um, i'm going to go all the way over to the little further palm tree and, and you can dial in the focus and it is uh, uh, shaky because i didn't have it on a tripod and it's a long distance thing and whatnot see i'm dialing in the focus but um, just to give you an idea of how this looks and works now there's no sound on this recording this is a voiceover and this is the still image that was taken from the camera. You can see the quality is not really that good, but uh, you know, you get a little image out of it. And here's one of the palm tree. It looks okay. It's not great, but it is what it is. Okay, now I'm out here at night in my backyard, the same as the, uh, the daytime. And I have my little uh, camera inside <laughs> looking at the screen and what I see. Um, you can see that it's pretty dark. My other camera can't pick it up, but this here is picking up. That's my little bird bath. Uh, thing um, I don't really have adjusted here hold on okay that should be more into focus I'm putting my camera all up inside here um, but you can see that it's uh, it's f pretty good pretty clear and the uh, infrared light is not even on on this one um, that's pretty cool so I'm gonna take some video samples and also some photo samples let me turn the infrared little beam on first let's do that next Okay, now I have the infrared beam on. You can see it's kind of a light beam. Um, you can't see it like that, but inside the camera area, inside the viewfinder, you can see it really well. And it's focused in, wow, it's actually really, really cool. So um, that's just the first level. There's several levels of infrared on here. Do the next level, two, three. You can see the bottom left-hand corner four five six seven and then off even off is good but man that's you turn that on and it really illuminates it so that's what it looks like looking through like my camera into the little monitor and i'm trying to hold it with one hand that's why it's very wobbly i don't have it on a tripod i apologize but i'm going to go and um do this i'm going to take some videos and photos through the system itself and this is the recording directly from the camera itself. Uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, uh, grain and stuff in it. Now this is without the infrared on there. This is basically a color looking out through at night. Um, it is, you know, clear. You can see really what is going on uh, in most of the areas out there. Uh, again, this is not in the real night vision with the infrared. I think I forgot to turn the infrared part of it on. But you can still see a lot more through these binoculars than you can um, just with the naked eye. And there's the um, further palm tree away. Uh, again, the quality is not that great, but, you know, you can get something out of it. This is the still image at night. Uh, again, not with the infrared part on, which I forgot to do, but just straight up. So it could be a little better actually in night vision with the infrared on, but you can get a little a snap a picture out of it. Okay, I just wanted to come on here and give you kind of my final thoughts on these um, infrared binocular things. Uh, the first part there, the, the bottom, there's got this thing that said the bracket for it. Um, the manual doesn't say anything about what it is used for. 
I'm not sure exactly. It may be for some kind of a, a scope system or something. Um, so I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, some of you may know what that is there. But um, but overall, it seems to be a pretty good system. It does work the way it's supposed to. And remember, these are binoculars. And that range, like 300 meters or 300 feet, is, is quite far. So it's not night vision glasses. You're not going to want to put these on and run around the house. Uh, this is a long distance kind of thing. That bird feeder that you saw in the video is probably about a good 50 feet from where I was sitting on my, my back porch all the way to the very back wall of my, um, my backyard. And then the palm tree was a little further and the one palm tree that was up even higher was a little bit further than that. So uh, it definitely has some range to it. Now, on when I did the video part of it that you saw recorded, I don't think I had the infrared part on, so I think that was just standard. But you know, you see what it is. It's it's not gonna you're not gonna win any um, uh, quality film uh, you know um, uh, awards <laughs> filming this. And also, I'm I'm recording this, or I'm actually going to uh, my timeline is a 4K timeline, and this is less than HD, so it's it's blown up on there. So it's it's really even worse than what most people would probably even see it. But if you just want to record what you see, like if you're out looking and you want to see the animals at night or the deer, or if you're hunting or whatever, um, or if you're looking for you know bad guys or whatever it is you're looking for in the dark, uh, at a distance, obviously. Um, it does okay. The The photo quality is, is really bad. Um, uh, again, it's it's only a one megapixel uh, photo, but it is what it is, and it is it is what it's used for if you want to just snap a picture of the animals or whatever you see at night to, in the forest or something like that. Um, it's amazing that it can do what it can do. It was dark out in my backyard, and I could see everything in my backyard uh, very easily. Um, and it works pretty fine with that. So if you're looking for a decent pair of night vision binoculars that does a little recording on it, this one may be the right one for you.